In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top five best budget cards at each position in NBA 2K23. My team so the top five budget point guards, the top five budget shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, and centers of who I do think are the top five budget cards at each position. So let me know in the comment section down below your guys' favorite budget cards in the game. I think the budget price range is anything under 25 to 30,000 MT and below, in my opinion, is going to be considered a budget card. So for the point guards, the best budget point guard, in my opinion, right now is going to be the out of position Hito Turkoglu I think he's easily the best budget point guard just because he's six foot ten at the point guard spot and he has such an amazing jump shot you know six foot ten six foot eleven wingspan he's got the John Stockton base the Trey Young upper on very quick timing such an easy jump shot to green and then he's also got the Kyle Lowry size up and the Steph Curry escape so he's got elite movement for a six foot ten point guard and I think he's easily the number one choice for the best budget point guard in the game around 30,000 MT now at the number two spot might seem a little bit crazy, but it's going to be this Galaxy Opal KPJ. I'm super high on this card. I think he's such an elite point guard for about, I think, 20 to 25K. I do believe is what KPJ goes for. He might be a little bit cheaper or a little bit more expensive, but he's going to be such a good offensive point guard. You know, being six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan, the stats and the badges do not matter for this KPJ card. It's just when you go to the animation screen, this jump shot. I feel like it's so, so easy to green that you can't miss with this card. Like, I feel like his jump shot's super quick, but also so easy to time, where I feel like everybody can green with this card. At least for me personally, I just absolutely love this card's jump shot. And then he's also got very solid dribble sigs with the uh, Darren Fox size up and the Steph Curry escape. So I do think KPJ going to be the second best budget point guard in the game. At the number three spot is going to be the pink diamond Usman Diang. I think he's such a good defensive point guard. Being six foot ten, seven foot two wingspan is going to be super good for the point guard position taking a look at his stats going to be solid all around especially on defense he's also got a 92 ball handle 93 spew of ball he's got hall of fame anchor clamps glove menace pick dodger like just all around a really solid point guard you know for about 15 to 20k i think he's around 20,000 mt for the usman dn card and then at the number four spot is going to be another new budget point guard in the game and that's going to be isaac bonga kind of a slept on budget card i think he's only around 10,000 mt i think he's like 10 to 15 Team. he's a little bit more expensive for a pink diamond card but he's so elite at the point guard position being six foot eight with a six foot eleven wingspan the stats and the badges do matter a little bit for this card but kind of just like kpj he's got such a good jump shot it's one of the faster point guard releases in my team right now super easy to green and also like i said very quick and then he's got you know some solid dribble six like the d book size up he's got the john wall escape his tendencies are not that bad for a point guard as well and i do think bonga is the fourth best budget point guard in the game at the number five spot to round off the top five bus, uh, best budget point guards, I do think is going to be Joe Angles. And I want to quickly give some honorable mentions. Cards like Scotty Barnes, Sangoon, those are great options, especially on defense. Cards like Elgin Baylor, Luke Walton you know really good other out of position point guards as well just in my opinion i think these are the top five best budget point guards currently in my team right now now talking about the top five best budget shooting guards at the number one spot i think it's really between you know one or two different guys maybe even three but i do think the shane battier card is an absolute beast at the shooting guard position i mean he's six foot eight six foot ten wingspan has amazing defensive stats across the board 90 block 97 steel 97 lateral quickness 97 perimeter 94 interior defense defense and then he also has tons and tons of good hall of fame defensive badges his jump shot is super knockdown it's a really quick release but i feel like also easy to green once you get used to it he's got the garland size up he's got the curry escape his movement's really good he's got amazing defensive tendencies including a 97 on ball steal tendency a 97 contest shot a 97 block shot i mean just all around this card's insanely good on the defensive end for only about 10,000 mt i think is going to be extremely good value at the shooting guard spot and the best shooting guard in the game for the budget price range now talking about the second best uh, budget shooting guard i do think is going to be the opal mike miller he's just shane battier but a little bit better on offense and a little bit worse on defense so if you're looking for more uh, if you're looking for more of an offensive budget shooting guard i think mike miller is probably going to be your go-to guy he's got an amazing jump shot with the kyle larry base and the trey young upper on very quick timing he's also got the trey leaner the trey escape d mitch size up he's got the front clutches you know his stats are really good for offense he's got tons of good hall of 
of Fame shooting badges. I just like Battier a little bit more because of his defensive presence and also can still score the ball at a very high level. At the number three spot though is going to be another really amazing value shooting guard in the game and that's going to be the Galaxy Opal Antoine Jameson. I think he's super tough at that shooting guard position. Might be a little bit better at small forward depending on how you like to use this card but he's six foot eight at the two seven foot four wingspan has the Carmel Anthony upper and the Kyle Corvette base on very quick timing. So we just got a super quick jump shot for around 15,000 MT and I do think he's the third best budget shooting guard at the number four and five spot are not going to be the greatest cards to be honest they're just going to be very cheap budget cards that are solid at the shooting guard position because there's really not too many guys to choose from there's really not too many cards to choose from when we're talking about the top five best budget shooting guards but in my opinion these are going to be the top five i think all can play on, play on a budget squad and still be super effective and cards like shane batty and mike Miller, and swan jameson can all play at a very high level against some of the top cards in the game but now talking about the top five best budget small forwards i think number one has to be this man the galley simple kyle kuzma now i don't think we can afford the hero version because i do believe the hero still like 40 to 50k i do believe last Time I checked the auction out, so I think he's a little bit too expensive to be considered a budget card. But I mean, this man offensively is such a good offensive small forward. Like, you can really run your offense through him being six foot nine at the small forward position, seven foot wingspan, elite level jump shot, can knock down threes at a super high level. And then he's also got the Kyle Lowry size up in the tray escape, so his movement's really good. And, he, and he's only like about 15 to 20k. So I do think Kyle Kuzma, the best budget small forward in the game, at the number two spot. It might sound a little bit crazy, but I think Jonathan Bender is slightly worse at the small four position than Kyle Kuzma. Both are going to be elite budget cards in the game. I'm surprised that Jonathan Bender is so cheap. He's now down to 30,000 MT, which is going to be extremely good value for Jonathan Bender. And I do think he's a second best budget small forward in the game. I think number three spot, I was kind of deciding be between a couple of different guys, but I thought, you know, I think Shane Battier also is really good at small forward. I think you can make an argument he's actually better at small forward than he is at the shooting guard position because of his defense, like with those great defensive tendencies. He's a great lockdown card. He's just a great 3 and D card in general, especially at the small forward position. For the number four spot, though, is going to be Tony Kukoc. I think the hero version might be in the 30,000 MT range. I think he's around there. But yeah, Tony Kukoc, especially the hero version, is going to have great all-around stats, especially on defense, 92 block. 94 steel 94 lateral quickness 92 perimeter 92 interior defense he has great all-around stats and badges he's got amazing dribble six garland size up trey young escape dame behind the back quick drops off one front clutches like his animations are super elite also having the trey young leaner it's just his jump shot is a little bit questionable in my opinion sometimes it's a little bit slow and a little bit wonky of a release but if you can get used to his jump shot he is easily a top five budget small forward in the game and then to round off the top five is going to be another card from the new interdimensional set and that's going to be the opal odom i think he's a little bit underrated at the three like i think he's only going for about 10,000 mt and yes he doesn't have the greatest jump shot in the world i'll definitely agree with people on that like his release is very questionable but other than that the card is super solid you know at the three and i really don't don't think there's too many other great budget small forwards in the game that are kind of on Lamar Odom's level so I do think he's going to be the fifth best budget small forward in the game rounding off the top five best budget small forwards now moving over to the power forward position we have another repeat of a card and that's going to be the pink diamond Jonathan Bender I mean, I think there's really not too many great budget power forwards or budget centers in the game, because if we look at number two, I think it's still going to be Dino Raja as the second best budget uh, power forward in the game. He's still got that eight foot wingspan, a very solid jump shot, amazing dribble six for a power forward card. You take a look at his animations. He's got this D Francis size up, the Kobe escape, Dane behind the back. He's got the front clutches and some really good dunk packages, and then also a very, you know, capable jump shot. And he's going to be a solid defender at the power forward position for about 10 thousand mt for the number three spot is going to be the mo bamba i think he's better at the five than he is at the power four position i think dino just because of his mobility the fact that he can create his own shot at a higher level i think makes him slightly better than mo bamba at the power four position i think mo bamba is a way better center than dino and we'll talk about that here in a second but i do think mo bamba the third best budget power forward and then for number three our number four and number five very similar cards at the power four position i got boogie at number four and then i do have carl anthony towns i got cat on number five really didn't know who to go with at number five like i'm not the biggest fan of this cat card 
And to be honest with you, I think he's a decent budget four in the game, but I really don't think he's anything too special. But I think the one through four are super elite budget cards for that power four position. And then moving on to the last position here of the video, which is going to be the top five best budget centers. I think at the number one spot, like I did mention, is going to be this Mo Bamba card. I think he's so elite at the center spot. Being seven foot, uh, seven foot with the seven foot ten wingspan is going to be super helpful. I just typed in hero because I was thinking of the hero Mo Bamba. But yeah, this man, an absolute beast on the defensive end. Being seven foot with a seven foot ten wingspan, 96 block, 95 interior defense, 88 perimeter, 90 steel. Great defender. He's also super quick for a tall card, like 92 speed, 92 acceleration. His jump shot's also solid. He can finish at the rim. He can pretty much do everything at an extremely high level. At the number two spot is going to be Galaxy Plus a bonus. I think he's around the 25 to 30k range. And there's not too much to talk about, you know, with the uh, Opal Sabonis, except the fact that he's seven foot three at the center position, seven foot six wingspan, and he's going to play very solid interior defense and can also, you know, stretch the floor a little bit. Not the biggest fan of his jump shot, though. I think it's super slow. But if you can get used to his, if you can get used to his used to his release and able to knock down those threes consistently. I think he's easily a top five best budget center in the game. Uh, number three, though, is going to be Dino Raja. I mean, he just kind of got to be in this top five. Like I mentioned, there's really not too many great budget centers in the game because number four and number five is going to be Diop number four and then the DeAndre Aiden from the playoffs as number five. And both those guys are solid budget centers. Nothing too crazy. I also do want to mention Marc Gasol and Peter Gumminson. Uh, Peter Gumminson, I think, is only around, I think, 40,000 MT for uh, for the Pink Diamond Peter. Marc Gasol is about, I think, 50 to 60K. So, yes, they're not going to be in the budget price range. But I'm telling you guys right now, if you're looking for center cards and you're maybe not, like, the two happiest with, like, a Mo I mean, Mo Bomb is really good, but Sabone is questionable. Dino's probably better at the power forward spot. And Diop and Aiden aren't the best. So, if you can save, an if you have enough MT or you can save up enough MT to get these two center cards, these are definitely the cards that I would go with. Or like one of them and then go for Mo Bamba as your backup center. That's what I would do personally if you're trying to build a budget squad. I know they're not considered budget cards because they're over 30,000 MT, but it's not by a crazy margin. You know, Marcus Gasol you could probably get for 50k and Peter Gumminson you can get for about 40,000 MT. So going to be around that budget price tag and are so much better than these four to five, you know, budget centers in the game. But yeah, guys, that's going to be my top five best budget cards at each position. You guys can let me know what you do think about my rankings. I'm just going to quickly go through and just show you guys who are the top five best budget cards at each position if you guys want to see maybe pause the video you know all that type of stuff so top five best budget point guards top five best budget shooting guards top five best budget small forwards the top five best budget power forwards and then finally the top five best budget centers but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and it did help you guys out and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace